everybody. So, um, I kind of want to tell you about something pretty exciting going on. Um, this is something with my life, so it's nothing to do with the channel. It's nothing to do with, um, any of the crafts I'm doing or the crocheting or nothing like that. But it's significant enough for me to want to share it with y'all and kind of give y'all my thoughts on a few things too. So, some of you may know, some of you may not know that <clears throat> my significant other and I, we have been together for this year, this September, makes um, 17 years we've been together. And we've been together since high school, two high school kids, and um, 17 years is a long time. And from something that we both kind of went with and agreed on um, at the start of our relationship was we didn't care to, you know, uh, get married and stuff like that because kind of preface this here, neither one of us, we're, we're not religious. Um, so really, technically, <laughs> and again, this might upset a few people. That's okay, though, because it's my channel. Um technically marriage is something that is just legal it you can or cannot change your last name if you really want to or you don't want to um and it just legally binds you together that's really all technically marriage is um and that was something we're okay with we was going to you know be boyfriend and girlfriend together until we die until we're old and gray and die um but you know we've had two kids together we went from two young kids in high school and from him working at a small town mechanic shop to now being uh, a supervisor in the company he works for, he's moved up through the company over the years and he's gotten, I mean, he's so many accomplishments and I could not be so, you know, more proud of him than I already am. Um, and I'm beyond proud of him. And um, I'm lucky enough because of this, you know, that we, over the years he's worked so hard that I get to be a stay-at-home mom to both of our kids. And so, we've we talked about it and we've, you know, we've talked about and talked about it. And for personal reasons that I really don't want to get into, um, I would love nothing more than to have my last name as his and to be changed and to carry his last name with pride, of course, um, and with our family. So, the other day, yesterday, he gave me... Uh, he got me a ring made and it's a promise ring and i want to kind of tell y'all a little bit of the meaning behind it here and it's it it really is so important to me and it literally it literally is just so important to me so it has you can see the date that we got together on here zero nine two five oh seven um september 25th 2007 is when we got together and um that means so freaking much to me and this is a promise that in one year on our 18 year anniversary our 18 years together we're going to get officially and legally married so we will be officially legally married um our state north carolina does not recognize common law marriage uh being together or living together for seven years they do, uh our state does not recognize that so technically even though we are common law marriage we kind of aren't common law marriage so you know again this is something that we both agreed you know it was fine we would never it doesn't really matter but we've been talking it over and it's just something special to us so we're going to get married next year on our anniversary on our 18 year anniversary and um we will have a very small wedding we only you know have a few people and friends that we would invite anyways and then both of our sons will be, <laughs> you know, the little ring bearers and um, stuff like that. And um, we actually have someone who is really close to us as a friend that has been friends with us since we've gotten together. Um, he has actually become, a, I think, an ordained or a minister or something like that or a preacher or something of that nature. He's been ordained. Anyways, he's going to marry us. And that's just, you know, it's, it makes it something else that makes it that much more special, you know. And so, like I said, it's for us, it may have a different meaning than some people. Some people get married because of their religion or because, you know, they think that that's what, how you have to prove and show to your love and stuff of that nature. And that's just not how 
we see it. Everybody sees stuff differently and that's fine. Some people never get married. Some people stay boyfriend and girlfriend or they're with their spouse or significant other or their partner forever as such and never get married and that's okay. But I'm just excited to tell to, to tell y'all about this news because I am so excited and I absolutely again I just love this so much. It means so freaking much to me. It really does. So um in this year span I have some goals for myself I'm going to try and work on. I want to tone up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to try to lose a crazy amount of weight because I don't mind being a thicker plus size woman. Um, I am on the bigger side. I don't want to completely um, lose a bunch of weight and get smaller. I just want to um, tone up in a few spots. And um, also I'm working on with my hair. Uh, I've had like severe severe tremendously severe breakage over the past couple of months my hair used to be all the way down to like here on my all the way down to my butt and now it's all the way up here to my collarbone and it's literally happened over the past couple of months so i don't know if it's my pcos um i've dealt with postpartum hair loss and hair thinning i'm taking some new vitamins i'm going to do a video on that but that's my goal for the year for a year span i'm gonna take y'all with me on the journey here Maybe I'll update y'all every couple months of how I'm doing, what's going on, and if I've made any prog made any progress. And then, um, yeah, so that's my excitement. I can't wait. I am more than excited, and I, I just can't wait. <laughs>